Our economy here in the Queen City getting a major boost to health care administration company, bringing 6,000 jobs to Mecklenburg County. WCNC Charlotte's Lana Harris joining us live. Lana, Centene Corporation held a dedication ceremony for their new massive East Coast headquarters today. Yes, they did. So the first phase of this project is, is projected to be done by next year. It's a $1 billion investment. But Governor Roy Cooper says that studies have shown that the lifetime of this project could potentially be a roughly $30 billion investment into this community when it's all said and done. This is the environment we can thrive, and that's really important. Sentine Corporation is one of the newest major companies to make Charlotte its new home. And this really joins the Charlotte area successes that we have had over the years with Honeywell, Allstate, Lowe's Tech Center, Robin Hood, Arrival, Credit Karma, the list goes on and on. Centene Chairman and CEO Michael Nydorf says their new East Coast headquarters will bring thousands of jobs to Charlotte after both phases of construction are complete. There will be a total of 6,000, initially 3,000. This facility we're in today, it's replicated, it's twice as big when the second half is done. The company broke ground on the facility last summer in the middle of the pandemic, even as the future of the in-office workforce was uncertain. Michael said that they were not going to change anything. They were continuing their efforts to come here and to build this facility. So I admired that. Filling the roles could still prove to be a challenge as businesses across the Tar Heel State struggle to find workers. And it's up to us to make sure that the compensation is competitive, the benefits, and all the other things we do. But it's clear people across the Carolinas are ready to get back to work as the unemployment rate in the Charlotte metro area has decreased from 6.2% in November to 4.4% in April. It's one of the great appeals of uh, Charlotte. You have a high quality workforce and uh, we're able to attract the people we need. Governor Roy Cooper says as more companies consider moving to the Tar Heel State, he wants to ensure North Carolinians are ready. I think these companies are going to be watching us. Are we going to invest in education? Because they are depending on us to make sure that we provide that workforce for them. Now the next unemployment update for the month of May comes out on Wednesday and hopefully it shows some improvement because it's clear that companies are considering the workforce when they're considering which cities to invest in. Here in Charlotte, I'm Lana Harris, WCNC Charlotte.